Criteria 1.8 Identify Barriers to Effective Communication Communication can be so important and is a part of our everyday lives, both personal and professional. Imagine calling someone on the phone they pick up, but you hear no response, and they can hear you. It would definitely lack in the communication department. In order for there to be communication, there has to be a communicator and a listener, and they need to be able to understand what is being said. Many people may struggle to hear clearly or on the same level as others. When you speak, they may not be able to clearly understand what you said, and they may be self-conscious about the lack of hearing, you may find it beneficial to observe the listener's expressions, does it look like they comprehend what you said? There could also be an issue that they may not understand the dialect you are saying. If you happen to be a scientist and are discussing a complex formula, the average listener is not going to understand what you are talking about when it comes to compilated math or formulas. When communicating with someone for the first time, talk slow, clear, and in very simple terms. If it appears they are comfortable using a faster pace, you can pick that up accordingly. When presenting a talk to a room of people, you are going to reach everyone by talking to the person in the room that has the least understanding of the subject. Some patrons may find the delivery method a little slow, but for the person that needs a slower approach with more explanation, you are right on target. The good rule of thumb is talk to the least communicative person in the group. Everyone else can slow down, the slow participants cannot speed up their comprehension. Thank you.